Hey, hello guys and welcome in a new video. In the previous video, we have seen how to use uh, roles. And in this video, I want to show you how to use uh, the systemd module. And in next uh, videos, uh, I want to show you how to use some uh, modules uh, before to prepare a more complete uh, example. So if you want, you can uh, subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. If you want to find some documentation about uh, the system D module, you can follow this link. If you follow this link, uh, you have this page on Ansible documentation. And this module uh, takes some parameters and uh, you can uh, check some examples. So we we start with uh, the purpose of this module. The purpose of uh, this module is uh, to manage a systemd service uh, with start, stop, or uh, enable, disable, or uh, daemon and reload. This is like uh, the systemd uh, command or a part of systemd command. Some parameters. Uh, first of all, uh, daemon reexec. Uh, we don't need to use a daemon reexec. Um, the daemon reexec, um, uh, we use daemon reexec to force uh, the daemon to restart. This is a, a, a very important. Uh, we do a restart, not a reload. If you want, you can do a reload with daemon reload. Uh, this is like uh, when you use a, a systemctl daemon reload command when you have uh, changed uh, the configuration of a service, for example. Enabled uh, with a yes or no. Uh, when you want to start uh, a service, the service uh, at the boot of your uh, virtual machine or server. Uh, fourth parameter to overwrite uh, systemd uh, symbolic links. Masked. Uh, this, is, this is like uh, disabled, but uh, doesn't remove uh, the, the the file of uh, the symbolic uh, link. Uh, just change change uh, the link uh, to dev null. The name, of course, uh, the name of uh, the service. And no block. Uh, when you want uh, to uh, to Ansible, uh, not wait uh, after uh, this task. Uh, you can uh, set no block uh, to yes, and uh, the task continue uh, without uh, waiting uh, to to the restart of the service, for example. Scope, um, when you want to manage uh, for a specific user or for all user, by default for all user, of course. And uh, the state, uh, very important, uh, state uh, started, stopped, this is the state of the systemd service, uh, started, stopped, uh, reloaded or restarted. Be careful, this is not a restart, but restarted or start, uh, started and stopped, uh, uh, for first stop, okay. So uh, we do some uh, some example. Uh, to do this, um, I use my script uh, deploy.sh. You can uh, check this script uh, in the video number uh, uh, twelve uh, to understand it. Uh, we just uh, launch uh, some containers like VM with systemd and SSH uh, into this. Uh, con uh, the, the, the into uh, docker containers i use a create option for three uh, servers three containers like vm and uh, i have now three ip and i want to generate an ansible directory who uh, that uh, generate um, the the inventory file okay so now i can go into my Visual Studio code, like here. Oh, sorry, I remove that. I remove. Yes. And now uh, I have my inventory file. I can create into uh, the Ansible directory a new file, a playbook. Dot yaml file. And for our example, we use. Um, we want to install Asha proxy and manage this service. 
So uh, first of all, we need to define the name of our playbook, my first playbook, for example, host, uh, this is all host, all group for all host. And uh, when we use uh, systemctl, uh, we need to use the sudo, uh, sudo command. Uh, for uh, privilege escalations and to do it we need to use become yes and we don't need to use a uh, role in uh, in this in this uh, tutorial and uh, we use uh, only uh, some uh, simple tasks so first task we need to install a proxy i use apt uh, apt uh, module and name I want to install Asha proxy state we need uh, a present state okay so uh, we need to update cache cache sorry to yes to update the cache and uh, we don't want to uh, update uh, cache uh, at each uh, run okay so to to do it, uh, I need to uh, set cache valid time to one hour uh, in a second, uh, 3600 second. I save it, and if I run it, Ansible uh, playbook dash i uh, my inventory. So, where is my inventory? I'm not uh, in. Oh! What? Where is my inventory? Okay, so I run it to Ansible minus playbook minus i zero zero my inventory and my playbook file. Okay, so uh, okay, I run it and I now to check I can uh, go in. Uh, one of our server uh, 172.17.0.2 for example and now i can use systemctl command to check the status of my uh, service sudo systemctl status and uh, we want to check asha proxy we have our uh, in uh, we have installed uh, Asha proxy, but our service uh, is not running. Okay, is uh, an uh, inactive. Okay, so uh, I want to start Asha proxy. So to do it, I can add a task name, sorry name, and uh, start Asha proxy. I want to use the systemd module for my Asha proxy Asha proxy sorry and I want uh, a state uh, to state uh, to set the state to uh, start it okay to start Asha proxy I save it so I run it again and now if I check I can see we have an Asha proxy with a status uh, to active and running. Okay. Um, another option uh, when you want uh, you uh, in our case by default uh, I check before so you system CTL uh, list uh, units and uh, I want to check Asha proxy unit system the unit and uh, in my case I have an Asha proxy with active and running if I check status of the files we have enabled Asha proxy to the start uh, of our uh, VM uh, when we do a reboot for example uh, Asha proxy start at the boot uh, of our system uh, in our case to test uh, enabled option uh, I set it to no. I don't recommend that, but uh, this is only to test. Uh, we just set to no, for example, and I run it again. Oh, oh yeah. And if I check, um, if I 
check it. We pass uh, proxy service to disable. Okay. If I want, I can change it and I uh, start. Okay. Yes, I change to yes. And if I save it, I run it again. And if I check, now we have Asha proxy service to enabled. Fine. And uh, uh, what we can test? Yes. Um, if you do some uh, change on uh, the systemd uh, service, uh, for example, in Asha proxy, uh, sorry, in Asha proxy, we have uh, uh, our system set uh, the service into uh, this file in uh, lib systemd system asha proxy service if i change an an element in uh, this sorry can copy and paste if i change uh, an element in uh, this file uh, by default if you want to restart this service or just do a, a status and um, our systemd uh, command tell us uh, we need to do a systemd daemon reload so for example if you do a restart our system uh, refuse because we need to do before a systemd daemon reload okay so to do it with uh, ansible we can Ici, uh, set, uh, here, sorry, set um, daemon reload option to yes, okay? So here, daemon reload option, and I say yes because I want to do a daemon reload before uh, to start the service or we do a restart, okay, of this service. So I run it. And oh, in our case, what we have, uh, um, ah, maybe service is not make a statement required. Ah, required. Or maybe I make an error in our file. Uh, this is not the better option. So, what I do, check. Uh, oh, it seems okay. Oh, I can remove to minus C. I don't know why uh, that don't work. Ah, maybe because uh, we have uh, WS. Okay, so uh, we have the same uh, message where if I remove uh, our option because in all case uh, we need to uh, do the system uh, system CTLD and reload. If I run it again now. We have uh, done the system CTL uh, daemon reload because uh, when we check uh, our service in uh, the two server, if I check, I go in my virtual machine, and if I check the status of Asha proxy, we don't have uh, the same uh, the same message, and the run uh, system CTL daemon reload. Uh, uh, have been removed okay so if you want uh, of course you can uh, do uh, only a daemon reload without uh, start uh, or for uh, any uh, server or whatever you can just do a daemon reload with uh, only this task uh, three lines Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you want to find uh, these slides, you can uh, go in the video description. Uh, thank you for following this, uh, this tutorial. Uh, don't miss the next one and I say goodbye.